everybody. Welcome to MD. Victor Martinez here. And I'm about exactly one week out from the Mr. Olympia Contest 2011. Now today, I'm over here at Star Fitness. I'm about to take you to my, one of my uh, chest workouts. Again, not my final one, but close to final one, one week out. So let's get this pumping. My sodium is still uh, pretty much, uh, it's pretty uh, high, it's, it's still in my food. Um, I'm not having um, any oils or anything of the sorts, only fish oil of course as a supplement. I did my last guest posing in Maryland, uh, I was stuck in the airport for about 13 hours. Um, missing a, a couple of meals, had to make do with whatever I can eat, high sodium turkey whatever I can grab in the airport and um, and, I, and I ate some carbs only because I felt like my body was eating itself away and I, I, I learned a lot from that day and over the years from doing the diets again working with Chad with, with, with Chris with Oscar and uh, Joe McNeil I, I realized keeping my body at one single level of either low carb or at a level of zero carbs and only fats so my, my body didn't respond well but what I did realize this time around is I could definitely definitely hang low carb low carb very very little fat and just giving it on the fourth fifth day just giving it that jolt of high carbs you know not, not extremely high a la Dorian Yates but just high enough where my body is, is carb that it can respond and and that's what I've been doing ever since. Again, it's uh, keeping it very low carbs, and then going extremely high, and then using that hot it to last me the next remainder of the four or five days, and pounding it with the cardio. And my body responded well. Again, you know, I'm still on purpose, holding on to the water. I just dropped the salt too soon. I had that happen before, and I've seen it happen with a lot of other athletes where they show pictures two weeks out, three weeks out, looking great. Come show time, they, they're flat as a pancake. And uh, I'm not worried this time around. Um, I, I came in with a different uh, approach. I have to say, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the outcome. Um, my legs right now are, are up to par. I'm going to be able to hang with the big dogs again. Uh, um, you know, and it's, it's Mr. Olympia. It's Mr. Olympia, and one thing that they keep prying on me, um, the judges, the articles, uh, the other magazines, um, including my, my fellows in uh, MD, you know, bringing uh, that condition. And that condition, you know, again, I'm still a week out. I'm not blowing smoke up myself. I'm still working at it. I'm still going with the with the very my confidence has grown based on my visual um, self looking at my physique. Victor Munoz looking at me and taking it one day at a time. Uh, but come that Wednesday when I start to eat again, I'm gonna have a very very soft approach. I'm very carb sensitive. I'm not just going to eat carbs in every meal just cause it was it's something that's been a thing of the past is a staple for everybody I'm gonna take it one meal at a time um, stay dry keep getting drier when I'm dry I'm not gonna be dry enough condition is gonna be key um, and I've heard this many times before size has never been an issue but at the same time I did not you know pull back on not staying big you know you still got to be big this is Mr. Olympia they don't play there's been guys winning the Olympia with missing body parts and they've won with, with great condition so condition is going to be key and, and i'm very happy with the outcome so far again i keep saying so far because it's a week out and it don't mean jack shit until that day in, in my diet um I, I definitely like to eat lean i like eating low fats i love me some turkey a very low fat turkey i like turkey breast it has to be turkey breast not uh not ground turkey it, it's got to be turkey breast. Um, I love steak, but unfortunately, having steak all the time does not create a benefit for me. And uh, I have to learn that, yes, it does give me the density that my body needs, but one of my key ingredients is fish. I do eat a lot of fish. I probably eat about 
three, sometimes four meals a day of fish. But again, this is another one that I have to be careful with because fish, after a while, I start noticing having too much fish takes away from my density. So you have to pretty much be very keen on when to eat enough fish and when to add you know more solid meats like like uh, turkey and um, steak um, so I add steak I, I would have to say maybe every fourth or fifth day and I usually tend to add it during a back workout or a leg workout one of the higher extreme workouts where I can actually consume most of the fats and and, and the creatine that the steak pretty much releases into my body so fish is key to definitely uh, giving me that condition but too much of it again will give me it, it feels like the density in my muscles and in my body is not quite there so I tend to slightly add more red meat um, I always keep the turkey in and fish I don't go any less than two meals um, and I go as high as probably about four meals per day salmon is everybody's favorite but of course salmon is you might as well just eat steak if you're gonna eat salmon um, and uh, one of my favorite fish I would have to say is flounder the easiest fish to eat is tilapia but um, again it has to go with the density of the fish tilapia I feel it is, is a little too dense in order to give you that peeled condition so flounder is definitely one of the ones I would use and on the other hand sometimes I might use orange roughy but um, I heard it's an endangered species and uh, many places stop carrying it so it's getting a little rough you know I don't like it frozen I always like it fresh and uh, I'm not gonna hunt for the poor fish that's gonna be extinct so um, I I've been sticking to the flounder it's a whole lot of them uh, filet of sole is another good white fish um, and also I I've heard with, with um, tilapia is also um, high in mercury and it reduces the uh, good cholesterol so I tend to, you know, spread that fish out a little bit more than I would with the flounder. Um, so very few fish. I mean, I know a lot of people like cod. It's another white fish. But it's the other white fish. The one that kind of stinks is this fishiest fish. It's really, really nasty. I don't believe you have to suffer that much and eat that real nasty fish. Um, I, the flounder is just as good, just as low in fat, a little tastier. You can actually make it crispy and it's just easier to eat you know as a bodybuilder eating all those meals per day I mean it's, you know suffering does not mean you know it has to be that hardcore you know you have to be smart about it know what you're eating and not suffer you suffer enough staying low carb training hard with the very least amount of calories after the Olympia as you all might have heard um, or if not, I will inform you now, this, there will be the Sharu Classic. It will be held in Mumbai, India. Um, most of us in the Olympia are doing it. Some of us might not. But all in all, it's still going to be just as competitive as the Olympia. Um, the, the tough part is, um, I never really travel for many shows. And, and this will be a, a testament to myself as a competitive bodybuilder to travel 15 hours to another show another time zone uh, a couple of times those over and uh, it, it's gonna be tough because you, you peak for the biggest show in the world uh, now you have to hold it for another week um, water retentions is, is is inevitable it will happen now you have to you know you all seen uh, many of the guys compete after the Arnold down in uh, uh, land on under Australia and, and it's happened it's happened and uh, you can't avoid it you just have to find ways to do it on purpose you can hold the water try to drop it then again this is a week apart so it, it, it's gonna be tough I mean you have to find ways to get around it you're 15 hours on a plane it's gonna happen it's gonna happen and that's one way that's one thing a lot of us will, will have to figure out and stay tuned you know because when we land and when that shows on stage you'll see who did it right who formulated it right and the calculations were right and for me it will be my first and uh you'll see i mean body uh tends to hold the water it's kind of hard to release it 
but um, it, it's something that I will be definitely calculating from the point that I get off that stage from the Olympia stage. I, I always, always, always want to thank MD. You know, um, love the magazine. Um, I have to say thank you to all the staff in MD. I mean, everybody's great. Uh, Denise, uh, Gail, uh, uh, the man, Steve, Robbie Duran, you know, freaking workhorse. If I don't see this guy enough in this year, man, <laughs> I mean, I have to say, uh, definitely the staff and MD, uh, MHP, um, Gerard Dente, again, and all the staff. I mean, I, I would have to say, I mean, if every company has such great staff as, as MD and MHP has, it would be, it'll be great. Everybody would be a happy camper at work. Um, and definitely uh, Eva's supplements. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You guys feed me and take care of me very well. You know, uh, Dimitri, thank you, bro. You know, and Alex, you guys have been the best. You know, going on 12 years and you still, you know, treat me as if, it's the first year, and, and it's awesome. And um, Victor Munoz, man, I mean, I'm so happy uh, we, we back at it, and it never gets old. We still hit that gym like if it was just yesterday. We won the Nationals, and uh, and uh, Steve Weinberger, uh, Ben Francis powerhouse. I mean, what better playground can you have? Thank you guys for supplying all that great iron to push, and. Uh, Again, to your employees, Big Lou over there. You know, thank you, Lou. Always good to me and uh, always taking care of me over there. And um, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody. And I really, really appreciate it. There goes another round, another Olympia 2011. Let's get this going.